Paul Oaken Fold in one of my favourite record stores in the world, Amoeba, the one and only. So I found five albums that I'm going to share with you. Different reasons why I pulled them, different kinds of music. First record, don't ask me if it's a band or it's a person, because who would do a cover like that? I don't know, right? What I like to do is when I do buy records, I love to read the, whether it's inside the sleeve notes or outside. That's part of buying records. It's a great part. And the other part of buying records, apart from stuff you know, is digging and finding and buying tunes based on sleeves, which I've bought loads of records based on a shitty sleeve or a cool sleeve, and most of them have been terrible, right? But now and then you might find a surprise. This was a surprise, and what a surprise it is. It's a soul record, it's soul music. Uh, I believe it's from the 70s. And here's what's strange about the record. There's only four, it's an album, and there's only four tracks. And if one side is instrumental, one side is vocal. The vocals are great, the song is wonderful, and most importantly, it's uplifting. And this is a record that you can play any morning of the week and you will feel good. The song I would suggest you play is Just Give Me The Sunshine. Just give me the sunshine, woo. Sounds a lot better than that. <laughs> now, Shuggy Otis, right? One day we're fussing and fighting now, and the next day we're doing fine. Didn't really know much about blues. Told you briefly the story. During the pandemic, was trying to get into different kinds of music. And what I mean by that is, you got time. Listen to music that you didn't grow up on. Growing up in London, England, you're not listening to blues. And blues is a sound that's starting to disappear. Because as we move forward, certain sounds, people forget them. And to be a blues musician, you gotta be fucking good, man. And, and this generation don't wanna sit there and practice guitar. When I was playing piano and guitar, I had to practice every night. It was driving me crazy as a kid, but I'm really glad I done it now. Because, and, and I sit there and try and explain this, not, not just to my two young children, but to artists uh, and producers and DJs who are signing my label here. Go, experience, enjoy music, old music. So, the story goes, and this is the story that I was told by the expert on blues who introduced me to the underground sound. Jimi Hendrix ripped this guy off. This guy was the first guy who played electric guitar when he played blues. Hendrix saw him and went, that sounds great. And that's what music's about, and being inspired. This record is a great record. Really recommend you get this. Love that. Now, I know what you're gonna say, because I'm holding this in my hand. 50 year anniversary, everyone's favorite record. You're right. Everyone's fucking favorite record. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? But here's what you don't know. I just done a cinematic remix of this song. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? During the pandemic, I was online and I found the vocals, the a cappella of Marvin Gaye, What's Going On. Now, many, many, many people have covered it, remixed it done everything to it. So I come across the vocal, we're in a pandemic, the vocal tells you everything why we haven't moved on as people. We're still fucking fighting one another. It's so demoralizing and wrong. 
you hear these vocals and you're like, what can I do with this to bring it back and make it modern and try and get the next generation to listen to it? I bought this album for my, for everyone. My son, my daughter, you know me, yeah, everyone. You want this album? You got it? Have this album. <laughs> right, I mean, that's, I love this album. So I've been digging through the crates, I've been digging through the records, and I'm looking at 80s music to play on this tour. Brian Ferry, Roxy Music. Now, this album, Boys and Girls, Brian Ferry, is his solo, obviously, solo record. Probably one of my all-time favorite albums from that period. Oh, I, I. Did it do well? I don't think it did. I don't really think this, I never, growing up in London, listening to Radio 1, didn't really hear this on the radio. Where did I hear this record? I was in Ibiza. We used to go into this bar and they played this record a lot. I didn't hear this in England on the radio. I went to another country, to an island, heard it in the bar, fell in love with it, and still play it to today. And the song I wanted to play was not the obvious single. It's called Stone Woman. The lyric, the instrumentation of the, of, of the band, because I know Ferry did it with the band, is really, really good. If you want to capture the 80s, and I know some people go, well, the weekends captured the 80s. We, uh, we, and I love that record, like everyone else. But this is the real sound of the 80s. All righty, one more record and we're out of here. Jazz. Jazz, jazz, jazz. A lot of jazz records and some great jazz records here. Let me tell you, over the years, I've been buying great jazz records. I actually think this is my second copy. Because as I explained earlier, I, you know, you panic sometimes because you don't want... Because coming to Amoeba for me was an escape. I love going to record stores. I hang out in record stores. That maybe came out wrong. <laughs> Did that come out wrong? No. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, we've got to be careful what you say. Yeah. You are among friends. We all hang yeah, out yeah, at the record hang store. Yeah, we hang out in record stores, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah, just, yeah. Uh oh, there he is. Who's the guy in the, who's the weird guy in the corner? It's just Paul. He lives it's here. It's just Paul. He's here. He's always here. Yeah. Thank God you didn't know me when I used to go over there. Now, if you see me, you're going to be like, oh God, he's here. Anyway, <laughs> so Pat Metheny. Oh my God, man. If you ever want to listen, to wake up on a Sunday morning and listen to jazz, I'd recommend this, and there's a track called Are You Coming With Me? So there's no vocal, but it's a long piece of music that starts very minimal and grows. It's a journey. My interpretation of why the band, or Pat, called it that was because the song takes you through different places emotionally. It also builds, and as it builds, and when I looked at the, the title, it explains, are you, are you going with me? It should be called probably, are you coming with me? Because I am coming with them and I feel that journey and it makes me feel really, really good. And I think the key to music, which a lot of people sometimes forget is, how you feel. When I listen to Sade, I feel solemn. Sometimes I want to feel solemn. And so that, that, that it, it, it's, it's an emotional state that you get through music. You pull a record here, it could be a seven inch, it could be a CD, it could be anything. And you unlock that key in your mind of where that feeling, that moment when you bought that. So 20 years ago, I may find this and go, okay, oh wow, I haven't heard that in years. As soon as I play that, it opens something in, in our minds, right? Which is wonderful. And 
I fell in love with, with music at a very young age. Hence why I'm still fucking buying music and and I still love it to this to this moment. I enjoy spending time in record stores. Who doesn't? You know, and what a, a great moment that that you 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 have, we have, everyone can have. Just spending time. Thank you, Amoeba. Love Amoeba. And uh, see you next time. We thank you so very much. This was wonderful to have you in today. Thank you so much for inviting me. So shine on, baby.